What's up y'all? Keith Dykes here with WKD Construction and welcome to my channel. On today's video, we are going to take, we're, we're going to take a bit of a journey. Me and my wife, uh, we bought tickets and we went to the International Builder Show 2024 in Las Vegas. I'm going to give you a little bird's eye view <laughs> into into the builder show man it was awesome that's it's the first time actually it's the first time we've ever been to las vegas or uh, yeah either one of us had ever been to vegas and first time for the internationals international builder show so uh very cool kind of the the show the show is huge it is freaking i mean it is huge it is, it is overwhelming maybe three days at the show it's I don't, I don't even know if you could really see it all, you know, in detail, everything <laughs> in three days. We went about two and a half days. Uh, we kind of got tired of walking <laughs> by the third day. So we did some sightseeing while we we're there. We stayed, a, stayed an extra day and we we're able to go to the uh, Hoover Dam and uh, the Grand Canyon. So we're, I'm just wanting to take you on our little journey. See, we'll show you inside of the the builder show kind of some different vendors i talked to um kind of you know some products i saw that were kind of cool so it's kind of hit or miss here everywhere because i mean it, it is overwhelming you're trying to see this you're trying to get over and, and and see matt reisinger talk you're trying to you know what i mean it's it is a hectic schedule but hopefully i've got everything in this video to where uh you can kind of get the gist of of what the international show uh, builder show is about. I definitely highly recommend going to the show because it's cool. It, it's something to see in itself. Oh, I got a little tip right here. Once you uh, sign for your ticket and everything, you got to fill out a form. You get a, you get a badge when they send it to you. But this one is Emily. She her. Well, mine is <laughs> mine is he him. Some people had that, some, pe some people didn't. It was just a question on the, when you filled out kind of like the uh, registration. I guess it was optional. I mean, I feel kind of like a fool having it on there. So a lot of people did, a lot of people didn't. So I, I, I guess if, if you don't want that on there, don't fill it out. I just assume, you know, you got all these crazy people putting all this pronoun stuff on applications or registrations, wherever you do go. Uh, I just thought it was mandatory, so I filled it out, and, and when I got I got this. So you don't have to do that. I think the coolest part about it is, though, I mean, I mean, there's all the stuff is there is cool, but I follow these people on 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 all social media. You, you see them, what they're doing, and you're like, man, that's cool, you know. So you get to see them, you know, on, <laughs> through the through the computer or on your phone or whatever. But here. When you go to the show, you can actually meet these people. So, I mean, I got to I got to meet a few people, in person, shake their hand, talk to them that uh, that I follow, and and really take notice to what what they're doing. Uh, one of the big ones is probably Matt Reisinger. I mean, he's huge. I've been following him for a long time. Been you know, and you try to try to build better, try to try to make your product as best as possible. And he's been doing that for a year, putting the science behind everything. Uh, so you get to meet that person and, and it's pretty neat. And then uh, I got to meet, uh, who else did I meet? John Beer Contracting, he's out of New York. Uh, follow him a lot, he's, he's really cool. Uh, Will King, he's, he's out of Alabama, I believe is where he's at. Uh, Willie Woodwork, I, I got to meet Stud Pack, so that was cool. We were, what's, what's funny about it is, uh, I didn't even get a photo op with him, but I should have done that. We were sitting, eating at the convention center. We were sitting there eating me. My wife was sitting across. I'm like, kind of looked over. I was like, he kind of looked at me and he's kind of, <laughs> you know, we, we kind of thought that's what it was. So I got on my phone real fast. And I was like, I told my wife, I said, I think that's the stud, stud pack crew. And uh, <laughs> so, so I looked, I was like, yep, that, that's who it is. And uh, a few minutes later, they get up and they come over to me and they're like, Will, <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I have my got it coach hat on. So we, we, we talked for a few minutes. And uh, so that, that's cool, man, to be able to see people like that and actually meet them and uh, 
interact with them. Uh, but like I said, I wish I would have got a picture with them. I didn't, but maybe next time. Now that we're in the process of building our house, it is, uh, that, that was kind of one of the main reasons for why we really wanted to go is just to kind of see Steve, see, see things that we might want to, uh, install in our house. So, uh, but yeah, it is anything and everything very overwhelming. If you go up to a booth, you talk to them, you get a little, uh, scanner bar thing or whatever it is on your on your badge they scan it and they can email you all the information if you if you like the product that way you don't have to tote around a big huge satchel full of <laughs> pamphlets and stuff huber uh they had a pretty good booth it was pretty cool they had a lot of uh people that sp spoke there had matt risinger and then several several different people steve bazek steve bazek the architect and uh the kind of the whole build show got me a hat got the whole crew a hat so i'll give that then to them tomorrow but uh they had a lot of interaction with with their booth probably more so than probably any of them so that was cool we were kind of there quite a bit they did the best of social awards that was that was pretty neat stayed there for that got a cold beer during the uh during the presentation so i may try to do something a little better next year maybe i can get up on stage and uh maybe get an award i don't know but it's it's pretty neat i guess they send out a category sometime during earlier in the year and then you got to make a video specific to that to that category and then they vote and uh that's how that's how you get chosen but pretty neat so maybe next year all right let's head to the international builder show 2024 in las vegas let's go all right y'all me and my wife emily are here at the international builder show this place is freaking huge we just uh we got here we walked down and got us something to eat uh, because it's going to take a minute. The convention's like three days long, so I would probably guess it's going to take three days to, to see it all. But uh, yeah, we'll just do, I'll just do some stuff here and there and showing you different things. So. Like, this goes on forever. The slave just come out with a new custom line where you can say on one side of the door you want a black and on the other side of the door you want brush nickel or whatever. You can actually split the set, so that's, pr that's pretty neat, I thought. So each of the knob, you can it comes with this locking. You could either make it a pass through, a passage, or a a uh, locking knob. Uh, yeah. So, but you can actually remove that at any time and have it just as just as a passive, a hauling closet or whatever, instead of a you know a privacy. So that's pretty cool too. Or you can take it out. Yeah, guests coming over. You want it, uh, you want it privacy, but when they're gone, you don't. You can just pull, pull the locking pin out. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to make sure that I really it's got the Huber roof. That's Matt Rising here talking. Uh, for any of my uh, electrical panels, any of that kind of stuff that's low on the house. And then I'm going to start worrying about air sealing and dealing with some of those upper penetrations. So, for instance, I, I have it on every house pretty cool frame that I did my house. Uh, if, you're, if you're a Pella fan, Pella has just released this new window installation. Uh, so now you install the window from the inside instead of having to be on the outside of the building. It's got these tabs. Of course, you're going to shim and plumb the window just like you should. But on the outside... Now you can put a few 
a few roof and nails and then and then use your flashing tape, zip tape or whatever, and, and cover that up and it's waterproof. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. This guy was in charge of all this. This is a Sierra Pacific door and it's got click glass on it. This thing is crazy, watch this. That's freaking amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff here, for sure. And we hadn't, even, we haven't even probably seen a quarter of it. We, had, like I said, it's gonna, it'll probably take us three days to see it all. Copper well, dude, y'all gotta check this out. This is pretty cool. This is a new wire. It is aluminum, which is metallurgically bonded with copper to the outside of it. So you do not have, you don't have to drop the wire gauge or raise the wire gauge for, because it's aluminum. So now this got copper on the outside, it's the same. So a 12, 12, two, 12, three will be the same in copper as it will be for this. It's 20% less cost and uh, you can get it out of uh, Fair, Fairview, Tennessee. I'll put a link or something or put something on here to where you can buy this. You can buy this direct. So uh, it, it cuts back on people coming and stealing on your damn wire because it's not copper. It's lighter. It's 20%, uh, like I said, 20% more uh, cost effective than copper right now. So some, some cool stuff, but I thought that was pretty damn neat. You can do 10, 12, uh, 14, 6, 8, and it's a lot, lot of options, so very neat. Y'all, we are smoked. We are tired. We've been walking all day long. We ended up at the Schluter booth. Schluter! <laughs> yep, we're at the Schluter booth. Uh, we're gonna go out and get a little dinner with them this evening. But they've got a couple new things that have not been out very long. They've got the peel and stick, Detramat, and then I've got a primer, and then now they've got a uh, an adjustable linear drain. A, what you call it? Uh, it's called the Vario drain. So you don't have to specifically have your drain location either in the center or at the end. If it's offset from it, you can get this drain. It's a variable cut. You can cut it to variable lengths. And uh, it's just a lot more user friendly. Kind of kind of goes the same as a linear drain in some aspects. The flange and stuff goes underneath that you thin set into there. But the uh, application on top is a, is a little different. You actually run your floor tile, your wall tile first then you do your drain, then your floor tile. So there's, it's a little different application, but it's pretty cool. They've got the lighted niches. Of course, they got the metal shells, which are always cool. But yeah, that's just a few things that uh, they've come out with. That was the peel and stick uh, Dietra mat. Very, very sticky. And then you're supposed to use a primer on whatever substrate you put it on. So they do recommend using their primer with the uh, peel and stick. That way you've got a superior bond. Uh, but as far as you, if you're using regular Dietra, I talked to the rep and you do not have to use a primer. I mean, there's nothing wrong with using a primer, but as long as you use the Schluter, uh, Thin set, then, then, then you're, you're golden anyway. But primer, primer's cool. That, that just kind of come out. So you, you might check out primer. I'll probably start using the primer just to give it a little better bond. 
and then I may use the peeling stick at uh, on my house on my on our new house. We got a slab, so I may I may start doing that too, just on just to check it out, see how it does. Don't have much time. Oh, that was a long day. That is a lot of walking. Then we were leaving, then the monorail was freaking packed. Here's our view, though. And then you got these suckers down here working. The leaf blowing. Got the alarms going off on the telehandlers and stuff. I don't even know what time it was early. There's a monorail station hooked to our hotel. Takes us right to the convention center. The sphere over there, that thing's pretty neat. But we're about to go into the South Hall. Check that out. Monorail, pretty cool, very crowded. Here you go. Yep. 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 <laughs> Day number two. I think this has got a lot of outdoor stuff. We're hoping to find some patio heaters, some screened in, automated screened in porch stuff. And uh, see what else they got. So we're just coming upstairs. I think this is more of the outdoor stuff. Downstairs is a lot of bathroom, bathroom stuff. This is a busy place. We're gonna go to the West Hall and uh, Mike Holmes is supposed to speak. So we're gonna take the uh, Vegas loop, the Tesla loop, get a Tesla car, go in the Tesla tunnel. That's pretty, it's pretty neat, we'll show you that. But uh, if you walk from the South Hall to the West Hall, it's a 25 minute walk or you can ride in a Tesla for about two minutes. So we're gonna do that. Damn the people. Really good. We're good. We're good. You This used to be all automated, no, no drivers? No, it's always had drivers. <laughs> That's good, it's like literally two minutes to get to the other side. I guess that's the uh, tunnel ring itself, how it goes together. It's all precast, bolted together. 
slick. So this is the West Hall. It's got all the kitchen and bath. Tile systems, all the, all the fancy appliances, all the good stuff. been looking at that cafe appliances and uh, they would have a beautiful beautiful display here what we got this is the GE cafe wall oven and this is a microwave pan and oven so you could do either option and you might can even air fry but it's all digital Pretty cool. <laughs> This is a very cool high-end upgrade for an electrical panel. If you've not seen the span panel, uh, <laughs> take a peek. I've never I've never seen one in person, so I'm kind of excited to talk about talk about it to him because I'm thinking about putting one in the house. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to do a solar or a battery backup or gen gen set. I don't know. It may not be worth it if I do a gen set. To have a span panel but very cool features on this thing see that lights up it's got led lights inside the panel <laughs> check it out this guy's everywhere Matt Reisinger and Willie. Pretty cool. That was day number two. <laughs> that is a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Seen some very cool stuff. Met a lot of people. Uh, people that I see on social media. So that is that has been really neat. Been able to talk to people that you follow and comment on their videos and stuff uh, so definitely cool got to meet Matt Reisinger today Willie of Engineered Woodworks uh, stud pack so very very cool you know to be able to actually see those people but now we're going home we got to get on the monorail this is gonna take freaking 45 minutes to go four miles with all these damn people Hey, but the weather is beautiful, and uh, we're living, we're, we're, we're breathing, so. That's why innovation is hard to do with construction. That's why the focus of praises are holding everybody back. I don't know what they're getting ready to build in this little alley, but... <laughs> I got a hell of a crane for it. That's a big crane. Look at that one. That one's a good size one, but it's dwarfed by that one.
Alright y'all, this is kind of a somber moment. We are at the uh, Route 91, Route 91 Memorial Gardens. We are here because I have ties to one of the one of the guys that was actually the first one that was publicly announced that was lost. This guy right here. Mr. Sunny Melton, we were building his house. We were almost about to finish his house when uh, he was tragically taken from from the world. And uh, along with the rest of these people, man, that's, that's horrible. Be out here having a good time. And, uh, so it's very, very sad to see. He was a cool dude, very laid back. I'd love to have a good time. And him and his wife Heather were here, and uh, he shielded Heather to save her life. So. If you've been following along with the uh, Melton Farm project. That even makes it make this more tough because uh, Miss Susan is Sonny's mom. So it's tough. I wanted to jump back on here and talk about the Route 91 uh, massacre. It was just just horrible uh for that many people to be there having a good time and some freaking psycho ass son of a gun just opens fire on them uh so that's what the route 91 route 91 massacre was i guess it's like the deadliest shooting uh mass shooting that in the united states ever but he he got i think it was in the mandalay bay knocked out a window and just started just started shooting people and just for whatever reason Sonny and Heather were there uh, he, he jumped in front of her shielded her I guess when when they figured out what was going on and as he covered her up uh, he was shot and uh, so that news got back back to uh, Big Sandy very fast because we are a very it's a very small town and it was very oh man it was just it, just just heartbreaking it just it you know somebody in your community of all all places i mean we're a tiny town and and that and one person that's grown up here his parents have been here his grandparent you know what i mean they are deep in big sandy and just to lose I don't know. It's just a bad deal. I just, we just wanted to go see the memorial because we are building Susan's house. I built Sonny and, and Heather's house. It's about a month right before, before I finished it that uh, they were getting ready to move in and uh, he passed away. So just, it's just, it's just horrible. And then we love Susan so much. We, yeah, just super sad. We wanted to go go see the memorial and uh, just just kind of pay a little respects to all those people that were horrifically taken. Oh, just just way too just way too early. It's it, it's it's heartbreaking. Oh, 
Oh, shoot ball. <laughs> that is up there, son. That stick is high as Hell yeah, it is. That's crazy balls. Is way the hell up there. Keep off the wall. You fall, you gonna keep off. Pretty cool. Power is solely vested in the Congress. <laughs> it's crazy. Arizona. I'm in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. If you haven't seen this, this is pretty damn neat. Can you imagine building all this stuff in the 30s? I think it said 1931 to 1935. It's crazy. She's not paying them mind. Crazy, they got like brass doors. The women's restroom. I just looked in there. I didn't <laughs> want to go in there. I'm just looking. Imagine sitting on a wooden seat 200 feet, 500 feet in the air. <laughs> well, that was day number three. We decided to uh, rent a car and do some sightseeing. Came to the Hoover Dam. What'd you think about it? It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty dang neat. If you've not seen it, 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 is, it is something to see. It is actually one of the seven wonders of the world. It's got a plaque on there, but very cool if you've not ever seen it so we didn't even we didn't even go to the builder show today we've seen we were walked out 
We didn't really, we wasn't feeling it, was we? <laughs> and this wasn't really something that I thought I would be that excited to see, but it's, it's yeah, worth the trip. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. You can't see it now, but they've got guys, they were scaling the wall down, uh, repelling down the wall, I guess some sort of fire rescue thing. So that was kind of cool to see. The training. Yeah. Yeah, like some sort of training, fire rescue training. Yeah, yeah, check this out, look at They got this thing turned into, looks like a transformer. It is huge. I don't see how they can even fit it in the hallway. What even they're gonna, I mean the alleyway. I don't even see how they can fit it in there to even get what they gotta get off. That's gonna be that big, that heavy. He's been turning it, but he's hitting the, he's hitting those trees over there. I bet it's really close to that building. They told us at the front office they're supposed to do a bridge across here. That way you can walk from the Paris over to this side of the hotel because right now we're having to walk through the Horseshoe Casino. So I was thinking they may be setting a pre pre-built bridge or something with that big size of a crane, but I don't know, he's in the way, he's set up, he's right in the way of it, so. I don't know, been inter interesting to see. <laughs> well, he started cutting all the branches off of there. I bet it is close, I bet it with I bet it's within a foot of hitting that wall. This is the final day we're here. Came to the Grand Canyon West. It's crazy. That is called Eagle Point. You can kind of see it. it looks like an eagle. Here's the body and then there's the wings. different landscape than back home in Tennessee. <laughs> oh me. No trees whatsoever. Talk about using what you got. <laughs> huh? No, it's probably fire or something. Fire. The 
even got the lintel right there. <laughs> Going to survival mode building that thing. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. up there. So they built that contraption to go across to the other side and mine guano. <laughs> I guess there's a cavern over there somewhere. They said it's big enough to fly a helicopter in, but it looks tiny from here. I had a little basket that would take them all the way across. <laughs> Hell with that. <laughs> or anywhere over there. We have landed. We are back in the beautiful city of Big Sandy, Tennessee. We are home. We are safe. Man, and got to see our, our youngest daughter, Macy, last night. So we had a wonderful time. It, it was it was a fun time in Vegas. If you've never been to Vegas, it's it's definitely worth it's definitely worth going to see that just to even see the city and stuff people but they're be prepared for some people because they are people everywhere <laughs> i had the guys working on a lean-to on the back of the barn so tomorrow we'll jump over onto the house start doing some rafters so excited about that get back to work start the week maybe we'll have some pretty decent weather but I just wanted to give y'all a little, a little bird's eye view of the International Builder Show. Maybe you guys might want to go. It, it's definitely worth going. I, I, I had a good time. A lot to see. Uh, just be prepared to uh, be, be around a bunch of people and uh, do lots of walking. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of walking and spending, spending some money on some food. <laughs> And you might want to give yourself another day or two just to kind of see some of the sights around there like we did. We got to go see the Hoover Dam, of course. Dude, that is, that, that's pretty neat. Four years, I think, that took them to build it. And it is, it is pr pretty awesome to even, sit. it's, it's crazy. Just the terrain these guys worked in, just, just to even get the materials there is, is, is just hard to think about. Uh, and then we also did go see the Grand Canyon West. <laughs> Very that, that, is, that is insane too it's super it's just beautiful i don't it's just you got to be there to see it and take it all in but it, it's it was a good trip me and me and my wife had a really good time uh, i got to meet a lot of good people and and just had a, had a really good time on a vacation we usually don't get to go by ourselves a lot we you know we're always taking the girls so we just kind of had some us time and, and that was really good too for us and uh, it was a good trip once again, I am Keith Dykes. This was the Las Vegas trip to the International Builder Show of 2024. Thanks for watching. And as always, got it, coach. Y'all have a wonderful, you guys have a wonderful day.